Hey guys, hey guys, hello. Hey guys, hey guys, hola. Hey guys, hey guys, David here. Hey guys, David here with another video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Sideswipe. Sideswipe is a Corvette Stingray concept car, meaning that it's not even out yet. For some reason, the, the Transformer movies are full of concept cars for promotional value, I guess. Now, I believe that Sideswipe and Sideways are both arch enemies of each other, despite, you know, because they both have similar names, they both have similar car types and similar robot modes. Sideswipe is a metallic silver with blue for the windshield and the windows back here. Now, being that it's a silver, uh, kind of a chrome metallic silver color, kind of proves my theory that there will not be a premium line for the new Revenge of the Fallen toy line. That would be stupid. It's even stupid enough for Hasbro to do, to release a premium line and having Sideswipe already a, being already a premium figure. I mean, look at this thing. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Who wouldn't want to own this car? Who wouldn't? It's sleek. It's stylized. It's even sexy. It's it's awesome. It's a sexy car. Yes, it is. Um, there is a Battle Ravaged uh, Sideswipe figure coming out. I'm going to post a link over here to uh, a video that I found that shows off Sideswipe in a Battle Ravaged sort of... Uh, paint scheme, a repaint if you will, and I believe that's all, all they're going to release, just a repaint, uh, a Battle Ravaged repaint of Sideswipe. It's got a nice uh, design over here in the back, it doesn't have the usual Corvette style, but I still like the style of this car, it's awesome. It has the red lights, uh, sleek angular lights over here in the back, it's got the tailpipes that for some reason move, but I don't know why. Uh, one problem that I, one thing that I hate about this figure, and I might, it just, most likely it's just mine, it's not everybody else's, but it's the fact that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't hold together very well. As you can see right here, there's a huge gap right here between this piece and this piece. And for some reason, when I try to press it in, over here it comes undone and it starts to pop and I have to pop it back in and then this pops out for some reason. It, it most likely this is just my figure, I haven't seen other figures have the same problem. Uh, not to mention that not all four wheels are touching the ground, like you can see right there, that wheel's not rotating when I try to roll it. It doesn't fit all together well. Uh, there's quite a bit of kibble, but then again, if he's just a car, he's just going to be in this mode, in this way. Uh, like I said, awesome car mode, I even display him in this mode. It is awesome. Words cannot describe how cool this vehicle mode is. I love it. So, to transform him onto his roll mode, first thing you gotta do is take these two pieces and unpop them. Like so. Then, you're gonna go over here and unpop these sides from this piece right here. Like that. You're gonna rotate this down. They're gonna be his legs. Then, you're gonna go over here and take this right here, his arm, and undo it. It, it takes some time. There you go. And rotate it upwards and extend it outwards. There. It, it kind of feels like you're going to break sometimes, so you got to be careful with this figure. Then you're going to go over here and they take these two pieces, undo them, and separate them to the sides for now. Then you're going to go over here and unclasp this. You're going to hear a tiny click. Then you're going to rotate this down. And before you go on any further, you're going to take this, open it up, and press it all the way back. Then you're going to further this forward. Then there's that tab that you see right there. And there's a hole right there that's very hard to make out. It's that little slot right there. It's going to fit in there. And this is kind of neat. Let me see if I can do it this way. When you press it forwards, you are going to take out his head as you clip this inwards. That's pretty cool. I take this down. You're going to flip in the tailpipes. I'm going to rotate it down. Then you're going to go down here and make his feet. You're going to rotate this piece so this is facing forwards. And then take the wheel. Oh, wait. There you go. Take the wheel down. You're going to take this piece down and clip. It, it doesn't exactly snap into place, but it holds it in really good. 
and go, gonna, gonna go there. You're gonna go over here in the back and rotate this like so to form some sort of heel. You'll see, you'll know what I mean. The same thing with the other foot. Foot. So, you're gonna take the legs and press them up so they look right, like so. Rotate the camera up so you guys could see. Now you see it's starting to take some shape. I'm gonna rotate the arms correctly. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna reach in and take out his hands. Uh, this one, this one is a bitch to take out. Let me see if I, I need to really dig. Yeah, there you go. Really dig in there to get this one out. I don't know why. It's probably just my figure, or maybe I just don't have enough nails to do so. It really sucks. Up. I'm gonna take this piece back here and rotate them back to where they were. And you could do an enormous amount of things with these uh, wings, if you will. You know, you could leave them like that, or you could just rotate them down. What I like to do is, and what the instructions tell you to do, is to take them and flip them like that, and then flip this to the side, and flip it forwards. And kind of, you know, let, make it rest there. So it forms a bit of a backpack. Rotate it like that, flip it upwards, like that. And then last but not least, you're going to take his sabers. I like to call them sabers, or, or maybe just swords. And rotate them forwards. They're kind of on gears, so if you rotate one, the other one's going to rotate as well. That's pretty cool. Birds chirping. And there we have Sideswipe. He looks fierce, awesome, and ready to go. My only gripe, actually I got two gripes. One is that he's small. Once again, he's almost as, as short as Soundwave. Um, you know, and almost as short. He's a little bit taller than uh, Skits. Uh, but he's still sh short. I don't know why, but they're making the looks it's really short these days um, with the new Revenge of the Fallen line. And his feet, he doesn't have any. We do know that he has a skating, you know, ability uh, in the in the new movie. We see it when he's uh, following sideways. But why give it the, give that to the figure? We he is almost impossible to stand. You cannot stand him. I literally have to put him up against the wall in order to get him to stand. But other than that, you cannot stand him unless you position him in a way like maybe in a like this nope still doesn't work he is completely unposable he has some great great articulation I mean, he's got some joints right here in the elbow and the upper um, arm right here in the leg but other than that you what's the point of giving the articulation if you're not going to be able to pose him right with no feet uh, he's got no major gimmick. I mean, he's got some cool-looking blades here, and he almost doesn't need a gimmick. I mean, he looks great. I mean, look at this. This is, this is awesome. It's just that those. It's just the fact that he can't stand that just bumps me out. He does have a nice little automorph gimmick. When you bend his knee, that plate right there, it's gonna shove forwards, and this, what is this? This little piston right here is gonna go inwards like so. And when you rotate his leg, these uh, little pipes will move as well. But he's got no major gimmick. But like I said, he doesn't need one. He looks good on his own. He's got a nice looking face. I think he has light piping. Yeah, I think he does, but it doesn't shine all the way through. He's got the Autobot symbol right there in silver, which was kind of an awkward place to put it. But this figure is great, but you cannot stand it. I just can't. You, you can't pose him any sort of way because he doesn't have any real feet. I hate that. So with that being said, I'm going to give Sideswipe a 8.6 out of 10, which is still a B. Uh, wouldn't he, I would have given him a 8.9 or a 9.0 even uh, if he was actually able to pose on his own and he was just a little bit bigger. But, oh well. This is still a great figure. I say pick him up if you can. Uh... I say pick them up before the movie comes out because, trust me, once the movie is going to come out, the racks will be empty, the shelves will be empty, and this guy will most likely be gone. So that's it for this review, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more reviews, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.